Namaste, my name is Dheo and welcome to my channel. Today I'll tell you how we can start now reflecting supreme in us. When I say supreme in us, that means supreme quality in our life, in our day-to-day -day life. This could be in, let's say, in your work, in your health, in your relationship, in your mannerism. Let's start becoming supreme. But to know supreme, why is it so important to know supreme? We have to start seeing who we are. We are all souls coming from the supreme soul. That means collectively all souls make the supreme soul. So we all have our strong qualities, our good qualities, our powerful qualities and our bad qualities also, which from time to time what we need to tap into in that part of supreme is very important. What the Western world calls supreme, here in our culture we call it Shiva. So the supreme that we reflect in our day-to-day -day life and we reflect it like this immediately is called the Shiva Mudra. We achieve that by doing the Shiva Mudra. I will tell you about that Shiva Mudra. But now, like I said, it's so important to now start being in that state of supreme because all our spiritual practices will first focus on you start recognizing that you are a soul. That's step one. This is why when we meditate also, I'm not this body, I'm a soul, which I always tell my students, my clients, that now you need to take it to the next level, which is, I am the supreme soul. You're not that seed. You're not that seed. You are that entire tree. The tree and that seed is one. So you got to start saying, I'm that supreme soul. So this Shiva Mudra, all of us, without anybody teaching, without any, any guru in our life, has been so easily doing it. When, let's say, when you are ready to go do something and somebody will ask you, how's your life going? And we say, it's going great. We show our thumb. It's going great. Why are we doing that? Why are so many people all around the world, it's a universal symbol of life going great. That means, yeah, it's going great. Are you ready for it? Yes, I'm ready for it. How's your experience? Is great. Oh, I was wasn't that great. It was like you put it. It's not that supreme right now. So this is what naturally our soul is controlling our body suit into giving that reaction that the experience that I'm having right now or going to have right now, I'm supreme for it, which means I'm ready for it. Nothing's going to bother me. When you say Shiva, Shiva is a is a symbol of freedom of everything that this illusion has to offer. So there is no fear. I'm ready to go do my skydive. I'm ready to go give my exam. I'm ready, ready for everything that now you've asked me. Am I ready for it? Yes, I'm ready for it. I'm not ready is wrong word. I'm supreme for it. I'm supreme. This is why we show our thumb. So this, we've been doing it all over. If you, even if you see small children, they'll be suckling on their thumb. Yes, it may represent... Uh, the nipple, it may represent a lot of other things, but why the thumb then? You know, why not this? Why not this finger? Any other finger which can represent that part of the human body which the child needs. And here it is always this thumb that a child sucks onto because somewhere he's getting his nourishment from supreme, from being supreme. That it's okay if at that moment what I require, I am not getting it. I will get it from my thumb which is supreme. So now Shiva Mudra where we are naturally doing it. Can you imagine the power now when you understand this and you when a situation arises, it's making you feel low, it's making you feel doubtful, anxiety, the most most used words, anxiety, depression, when you're going through all of those fake emotions with this matrix offers. It's not real. This world is not real. That means those emotions are not real. So now instead of somebody asking you and you putting up, can you imagine now when you have this knowledge that okay, sticking out this thumb means it brings out that supreme quality in me, that supreme feeling in me. Wouldn't you want to use it then? From time to time, let's say you could be in your gym and you've got some thought going on. You could be walking in your park. You could be sitting in your house. You could be driving. How much time does it take to just take your thumb out that's it just give yourself that thumbs up everything supreme i'm supreme right now so that thought process that is going on which will definitely get manifested everything that we stick we hold on to that thought for a period of time will get manifested so instead of that bad being manifested stick your thumb out be in that state of supreme and all you do is just this to yourself let's say even if you've got people around you your hand is down and you just stick your thumb out that's it you will see that shift. This is what Shiva Mudra is. So this is where you naturally can use it. 
okay when it's happening at that moment where bad thought process is going on where you know you need to go somewhere and you are doubtful there's confusion like i said all these fear all these fake emotions that are building up inside us just give yourself that supreme stop calling it a thumbs up just give yourself what is yours supreme so that's one way of doing it that's the best the most beautiful way of doing it which like i said we are naturally doing it the other is where you want to now slowly start building this quality where you won't need to give that thumbs up also you're walking talking supreme when i say walking talking supreme that doesn't mean this matrix is not going to affect you don't get me wrong don't get others wrong when they tell you you will be in that state where now the matrix will never affect you we are not stronger than the matrix we are not more powerful than it all we can do is manipulate it so to be that walking talking manipulator that something is happen or going to happen you are in that state of supreme that means that incident is going to happen the thought will come but you will be in that supreme state to move it aside politely politely is the word we're not going to fight it we can't fight the matrix so politely is the right way of manipulating it and it goes so if you want to incorporate that into your day to day life bring in that personality of yours then you sit cross legged in your meditation pose you keep your thumbs up on your knees when you're sitting down when you're sitting down you keep it on your thumb and you sit in your meditation pose it needs to be facing forward not this way not this way so you decide how long you want to sit for it but the minute you will sit you will find you will feel yourself being supreme but in your day to day life this is what i tell people take your spiritual practice outside of your yoga mats and start using it Okay first we practice spiritual practice yes we practice and after that are we training for it no we are not training for it so now when you're sitting like this you think overnight it's going to happen no when the incident happens then give yourself that thumbs up give yourself that supreme that's called training eventually yeah you're ready for everything then you know this is where people do a lot of uh, spirituality spiritual practices are going wrong and people practice it but where you need to train it in your day to day life is where people are not doing it it could be with mudras with mantras with thought process everything with breathing exercises also so now this is called the shiva mudra don't confuse it with shivling mudra shiva shakti mudra there's loads of it all you do is stick your thumbs up that's it give yourself a thumbs up don't go all don't go all caesar with it where now you are like wondering okay do i do this or do i do this or do i do that no just stick your thumb up no more caesar business in this and have fun doing it have fun like i said every time the situation is arising in your car just give yourself a thumbs up watching the television in your office walking the park in the gym your life you know best your life so use it in that moment you don't need to put both your thumbs up or sit cross leg at that time just one your dominant hand is good enough whichever one naturally when somebody asks you hey are you ready for it how's life going great so now don't need somebody asking you for that that thought process has come in your mind the bad one the incident that you think is going to be bad just give yourself that supreme like i said call it supreme call it shiva i call it shiva i don't call it supreme that english word doesn't suit me doesn't suit my personality so you find a word to the nationality to the language that you speak makes you feel more powerful shiva is not going to say oh this person is not using my name shiva no that doesn't happen so for me i call it shiva somebody in the west can call it supreme you find a word in your language that makes you feel powerful when you say this when you do this like i said eventually it's not even the word it's the gesture that is more powerful supreme have fun you probably do some salsa doing it stick your thumb out if you like this video give it a like subscribe to my channel until i see you again have a good life namaste be supreme have fun